Hey everybody, it's Nicole coming at you with a Dollar Tree haul. I went out Halloween hunting. I was looking for Halloween decor and fall decor, but I don't know why. I was just in the mood to look for some Halloween stuff. But anyway, I hit up Dollar Tree and I found a few items. I also went to um, a thrift store, Hobby Lobby, Bath and Body Works, and um, a couple other places, but this is gonna be primarily a Dollar Tree haul. So let's get into it. Um, the first thing I found was um, at one of the Dollar Tree and more stores, you know, the one that has the three, five, and 10 items. So they have a lot of nice stuff in the three, five, and 10 section. Um, and one of the items I picked up was, of course, Halloween decor. And it is this skeleton bowl with the hands. Um, I think they had these last year, if I'm not mistaken, but I picked this one up because I kind of had a DIY in mind. I think it comes in black too. I'm not sure um, if I can recall black, but anyway, I got the silver and if I decide I'm not feeling the silver, I can always spray paint it. But yeah, I really like that. I actually saw a couple people haul that um, in some hauls here on YouTube, so I didn't pick it up last year, but I had to get it this year. Okay, so let me start right here. Y'all, I have a ton of stuff. I mean, like, I'm on one side of my sofa, so it goes all the way over here. <laughs> so I'm excited. Okay, so I picked up some of these garden, well, I guess they're, what are they called? Solar stakes. Um, so I got some more of these, and I'm actually going to use these for what they're for. <laughs> Solar lights outside. We finally got the uh, property kind of tamed, so to speak. So we want to add some ambient lighting and things like that. And then I also got the spotlights for the front porch because I have a porch makeover coming. So you guys can see that as well. So, yep, I got some of those. I got four of the, um spotlights and I think eight of the regular solar lights. Okay, let's see where we're going to start. Um, so much stuff. And it's in a random order, so it's not, you know, organized. Okay, so I picked up a couple of these signs. These are the, I guess it's wood. It's kind of wood. Is it wood? I guess it's wood, honey. Anyway, <laughs> I got two of these. They say, hello, sunshine. I plan on just popping these off. I'm not a big summertime or spring decorator. I'm not fans of either. I'm glad for the warm weather. I don't like pollen in the spring, and I'm not a big fan of being hot in the summer. But I'd rather have hot weather than cold weather, if that makes sense. But anyway, I got a couple of these. So I just want to use the actual wooden round. And I'll probably recycle these or something. I'll figure out something to use that, you know, part for. But yeah, these were $3 a piece. So I got those. And let me hold on to my receipt. So I'll have that. Okay. And also from Dollar Tree, I found this velvet ribbon, y'all, for fall. I couldn't believe that they had this. And I'm pretty sure this is new because I don't remember seeing this last year at all. So, hon, I got the whole damn tray. <laughs> because, you know, you'll get a couple and then you'll find something to do with them and then you don't have enough. And this ribbon is really, really nice. Um, of course, you know, they had the black and the purple. I'm thinking Halloween. And then, of course, they have the orange, the traditional orange. But look at this blue, y'all. This is absolutely gorgeous. So, you know, I had to get it. And I am not a blue person, but I do like this. Um, that shade, it's so, it's like a beautiful jewel tone. It'll be great for fall and winter, I believe. So, I got that. I like I said, a whole tray. And speaking of velvet ribbon, they also had, and I had it right here. And I call myself putting it right there so I can grab it. 
Hold on. Y'all, this is sad. I have so much stuff up here to haul for y'all. Here it is. <laughs> they had the um, velvet ribbon in the $3 rolls that's bigger. Um, with these, you get, let's see, it's two and a half inches wide, and it's a yard on this roll. And then with these, you get, it's two inches wide, and you get 300 and, oh, Lord, I need my glasses, 360 inches. So, I'm not sure what that is in yardage, hun, but... It's velvet ribbon, so I'm assuming you're getting a little bit more. It's a little less wide, but they had black, brown, orange, the green, the fall green as I call it, or it's not quite avocado green, but it's, I call it fall green. And then they have uh, yellow. The, the corn yellow, I guess, or the golden fall yellow. And then they also had the blue. So I got all that they had left in this particular store. But this is beautiful velvet ribbon. And so, you know, I had to snatch it up. Because you can do all sorts of things with ribbon. You can wrap your Christmas gifts and stuff like that. Or make wreaths or, you know, all sorts of decor, garland or whatever. So, yep, I grabbed that up. So, I'm straight with the velvet ribbon right now. <laughs> I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with those. And then I found some yarn. And this is the plush yarn. And it's by Premier. And it's called Just Yarn. And, of course, they had it in the fall colors. So, of course, here we go with our beautiful orange, the yellow... They had the cream. They had the beautiful burgundy. It's coming off kind of red, um, but it's actually burgundy. And I think that was all the colors. Nope, one more. The sort of brown color. So those are the shades that I found. So I got two of each of these. And again, you can do so much with the yarn. Um, you can do you know, cover the wreath forms with these. Um, you can add all kinds of decorative embellishments to things using the yarn, or you can create embellishments with the yarn. So I grabbed all the colors in that. Then I got some containers um, because I needed them. You know, after a while they get cruddy <laughs> and they start to dry out and get brittle. So I got this size. I had never seen this size before. So I actually got this because I got a couple of watermelons and I need to go ahead on and cut them up. And I think this would be great storage for those and, you know, any kind of food storage or whatever. So I got three of those. And then I found some Martha Stewart paint. It's just one color, but it's the multi-surface satin and it's in the color uh, candy apple. So it's a red and that's what it looks like. So I grabbed a bottle of it. I'm not sure if they had other colors, but this particular store just had that color, so I grabbed one. And then I also found these Halloween um, Kiss Nail Dress um, appliques. Um, you can put them on your fingers or your toes, and it says it lasts up to 10 days. So these are really pretty. You know, I am a Halloween junkie, like I said, so I think these are pretty. You know, once you polish your nails or if you do the acrylics or the press-ons or whatever, you could put that on top. And I'm not sure if you could actually see, but it has a spider web. And I'm sorry about the glare. There we go. It has a spider web with a little blingy uh, rhinestone on there. And uh, it's really pretty. So I grabbed that. It was only one that I saw, but I grabbed it. Okay, so that was that. All right, so this right here, let me do it because it's kind of poking me. <laughs> this was in the 3, 5, and 10 section. This is cute. This is something that you'd see in Hobby Lobby, I think. It is a galvanized metal pumpkin with the stand. It is actually screwed into the base, but of course you can take this off and do other things with it if you want to. It was $5, 
know if you saw that. But I think this is worth five bucks. I love this. You could probably paint this if you want to. But for $5, I had to pick this up. I think this is super cute. So I grabbed that. But kind of be careful because the the edges of it is kind of sharp. So if you got kids or pets or something, you know, kind of keep that in mind. But again, super cute. So I grabbed that. Again, that's Dollar Tree. All right, so in this bag is some of the Nature Valley granola. They are getting in a lot of name brand items and stuff for that dollar twenty-five. So I love this. I love anything with chocolate. This one is the dark chocolate and pretzel peanut granola, and you know you can do all sorts of things with this, or you can put in your cereal, your yogurt. Um, what I plan to do is make some granola bars with it. But yeah, I grabbed a bag of this and uh, it doesn't expire until November. So you still have a while. Um, if you see that, well, I guess it depends on, you know, what the expiration is on the bag if you find it. But I still have a while um, before it potentially goes bad. Okay, moving into some more fall stuff. Now, of course, it's just a staple. I use paper plates because I'm not about washing no dishes all the time, honey. But moving on into fall, I got some of these autumn, autumn, <laughs> autumn window cleans. Um, so I got this one that says Hello Autumn and it's got all these different images. And I'm seeing a lot of people doing DIYs with these window cleans, which is smart. Um, but I grabbed some of these. I got that one and then I got this one that had all these little different signs and sayings. Now, I'm not a fan of all the, you know, farmhouse signs because I feel like, well, for me personally, your house can start to look like a classroom <laughs> when you have too many signs um, up with sayings or whatever. But I got this for my resale booth to make items because a lot of people like it. So, yeah, that's why I grabbed those. So, yeah, got those in here. I'm trying to keep everything straight so I can take them out to the she shed. So, I found the calendars for next year. And I'm trying to make sure they were up here. Because I went to do two different Dollar Trees and I'll probably come across them as I'm looking. But I found all the calendars for next year with all the beautiful um, images. So this one is home. So that's what it looks like. It says home on the outside. And then you have all these beautiful pictures or images that you can create different things with. You could frame them and use them as art, put them in your journals, crafts, whatever. But yeah, I love it. And then this, of course, is my favorite. I love that. <laughs> Anything from here through <laughs> December, my fave. So, I love that. These are great. So, yeah. And I guess once I come across the other ones, I'll show them to you. Because um, I'm not seeing them right now. But anyway. Oh, there they are. I knew they were here somewhere. I kind of wanted to show them all to you. Okay, so here are the other ones. You have Home Sweet Home on this one. And here are the images on that. And they are absolutely stunning. Sorry about the glare, y'all. It's that overhead lighting. And that's what it looks like. And I'm loving the fall and wintertime images. So, yeah. And a lot of these, you know, you can actually use, you know, beyond, like, holiday time or whatever. These are all year ones. Um, but I'm loving the apples and the beets and bananas because, I mean, that stuff you can use all the time. So, I got that one. That's home sweet home. This one is the one day at a time one. That's what it looks like. I'm so sorry about the glare, y'all. And here are the images on that one. Again, you can do so much in here. Let me see if I can get closer. That helps. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. But, yeah. Love it. So, that's one day at a time. This one has 
is the farmer's market version. And on the back of it, there are the images that you'll get. And again, let me get closer. Maybe you can see it better. But yeah. I'm loving the fall. I'm over the trucks. <laughs> but again, I'm sure there are plenty of you out there who love them. So, great images to craft with. And then the last one that I picked up is today a good day. Well, is the one that says today is a good day. And this is what it looks like on the front. And here are the beautiful, colorful images that are on the back. So, yeah. Again, the calendars have hit the stores. So, I grabbed these. There are more. Um, but these are the ones that I like. And I think these are the ones that are going to go quicker, quicker than the rest because um, of the calendar images that they have inside. So... That's five of them. And, of course, you know they have the other ones, the one with the lighthouses and the biblical sayings and things like that. So, I may go back and grab those. But I grabbed these because I knew they were going to go quick. So, got those. All right. Then I picked up some more of the window claims. And I hate when they fold them up and put them in the bags because then they start lifting off the paper. See, they folded it right across there. But, again, I'll make them work. Okay, so this one says, thankful, blessed, and grateful. And this is great for people who don't have crickets, but they want to use these fonts and things like that. Perfect for, you know, projects. And then I love these with the pumpkin images. Ugh, I cannot wait to start decorating for fall. That's why I wanted to get this haul out the way so I could start. I mean, I am a definite, you know, from... The end of July until December, I am so there, y'all. <laughs> I am so ready for fall. <sighs> Halloween and Thanksgiving, the Christmas season. Okay, so let's see where do we go from here. Okay, so more stickers since we're in that bag. I got this sticker that says Free Spirit. They had one that had some really... Uh, bohemian like feathers so i got that to accompany those stickers <laughs> excuse me those stickers so i love this one and then i found some halloween rub on transfers oh gosh and i love them okay let me get the stickers out of here okay so those are rub on transfers where's the stickers okay so I got these. I think they had these last year, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I just grabbed one of those with the skull and crossbones and things like that. I'm not one of those little tchotchke, cheesy kind of sticker people. I have some for my grandbaby and just, you know, because. But I love stuff like this. More adult. <laughs> I'm one of those who decorates more like horror related when it comes to Halloween, you know, the grown-up Halloween, um, but I do plan on doing some kid-friendly uh, Halloween crafts. Okay, so I got two of these that have uh, the ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns and bats and all that stuff on there. This one is sort of neutral, I guess. It could go either way. Um, it's not too scary because I know some people... You know, again, don't like the real scary stuff. So, I got those. Two of them, of course. And then I got, and I'm pretty sure I have another one somewhere of this one because I love it. But it sort of has a little vintage vibe to it, too. But this one has crows and spiders and skulls and stuff <laughs> on it. So, I got that one. And then, of course, I had to get two of these because this one has a definite vintage vibe and it has the traditional black and orange going on. So, I got two of these. I love, love, love these images. I am so into the vintage Halloween, y'all. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so, yeah, two of those. All right, so those are those stickers there. Then I got 
some or a chalk marker because the one that I had dried up, I got the white because that one's the one that seems to dry up and go the fastest. And then I got some of these glow sticks, glow in the dark sticks with the necklaces or whatever because I have a couple DIYs in mind for these. So I got two packs of those. And if you have to pause the video, go ahead and do it. Grab yourself a snack, um, a cocktail, a cup of coffee or whatever because it might be a little bit long. Um, and then while you're doing that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I have a video coming. And share the video so that my channel can start growing again. It stalled out for a while. I actually got hacked in the first part of the year, but I was able to recover it. But yeah, go ahead and do that so uh, we can grow together. So I got some of these wall tiles, the peel and stick ones. I hadn't seen this one before, so I got four of these. And that's what it looks like. I love that. Not sure what I'm going to do, but honey, I'll figure it out. And then I got this one, which I hadn't seen. I love that little sort of... Um, snowflakey kind of starburst effect so again this would be great for winter time i think it'll be a great um diy um what am i looking for i can use it in a diy <laughs> for winter so yeah and then i got some envelopes to mail off some of my etsy um products and i'll list my etsy down below go check out my etsy shop See what I have over there. And then, of course, I had to get myself some snacks. So, I love these guacamole flavored tortilla chips. These are so good. I was actually in TJ Maxx, and they had the huge bag of them. And I started to get it, but they didn't have a price on them. So, I wasn't sure how much they were. And I didn't want to get up front and then be angry because it was outrageous, <laughs> you know, in pricing. But, so, I got, knowing that I had that. Okay, then I got a couple of paint brushes. I needed this sort of size, and when I saw them, I grabbed them. All right. Got a box of tissue. It was running out, so of course, you know, staples are in this all too. Okay, so let's see. Not sure where the rest of these are, but they're somewhere. I'll hold off till I come across them. Okay. Moving right along. I got, I went ahead and broke down and bought these because, you know, these came out in the spring for summer, I think. Um, part of the nautical collection, the napkin rings. Again, I'm going to alter those. I don't need any napkin rings, but I'm going to alter them for Halloween. <laughs> I picked up some more Mod Podge. I probably need to just break down and get a big old thing of Mod Podge from like the craft store or Walmart or something. But I was in there and I grabbed it and I knew I needed that particular formula, which is the gloss. Then I got some um, tags or pricing tags for my resale shop because I needed those again, staples. And then I got some of these colored glue sticks, the glitter glue sticks, again, for some DIYs that I have in mind. And I think that's all that's in that bag. Okay. Ooh, moving right along. Okay, in this bag, Halloween, um, my stores are slowly getting things in or putting things out. They have it in. They just have... Uh, a short staff or they have lazy folks because they have plenty of people in some of the stores but they're lazy because the stores look horrible and then you go to the nice neat clean stores and they have just a few employees so they're slow to get stuff out and then you'll go and then all the stuff's gone you know whatever it's just crazy but it's the times that we live in but <laughs> I found some Halloween stuff so of course I got the green and black Pipe cleaners, as we call them. Some people call them chenille stems. They have tinsel stems on here, but to me, they're pipe cleaners. So I got a pack of those because I hadn't seen this color. I have all the other colors, but I didn't have this particular one, so I grabbed those. I got two of these cell phone case um, 
for the I, I don't have an iPhone but why I got these is because of the handle that's on them it's sort of this I guess shell or tortoise shell kind of effect because I have a DIY I'm excited about that DIY so I grabbed two of these because I'm gonna need two and so I grabbed those and I'll just probably recycle or figure out something to do with the case got two of those then I got some of the Halloween fabric. I am so loving the fact that Dollar Tree's getting in these uh, fabric squares because um, they're rivaling like Joann's and Michael's and places that have them. Um, you know, so yeah. So I got two of the black cat with the orange background. That's what they look like. And you can do so much with these. And then this one is sort of vintagey. And here, let me go ahead and open it up like this. If I can get it open, y'all. I just don't want this video to be too long. But yeah, this one has sort of a vintage kind of vibe. And it's a fun kind of vintage vibe. But yeah, it has the cats and the jack-o'-lanterns and the bats and stuff like that on it. So I love that one I got. Uh, I think I got two of those. It's probably in another bag. I'm pretty sure I did. And then they have the purple one with the uh, skull. The skull. The uh, skeleton <laughs> on the purple background. So, yeah, you can see that. I'm not a fan, but I got it anyway. I'll figure out something to do with it. And then I picked up a package of the cocktail napkins. I love that image. Perfect size. Perfect to craft with. So I got a pack of those. And then I got one of each of these um, little candle tins, because that's what they call them on here. No candles in it, <laughs> but they're called candle tins, if I'm not mistaken, because I think I remember reading that in the store. Yeah, candle holders. So I got the copper, the silver, and the gold. So really nice little tins. With you, and I got some of these um, LED pillar candles, and these are the ones that have the sort of quilting design on there. So again, I got a DIY in mind for those, so I grabbed two of those. Okay. And let's keep it moving. <laughs> Then I picked up a few groceries. I picked up these cookies. I saw somebody haul them and they said that they were good. And for the amount that you get for $1.25, I thought I would try them out. They're called Maria's. And you know what? Or they're by Maria's and they are just cookies. So we're going to try some. They're packed in these nice little silver packs. And I think you get three packs. They expire in April of next year, but I'm going to try them out. I'm not a big sweets person like I used to be when I was younger, but occasionally you want a little sweets something. So, really thin, and that's what they look like. Oh my God. These are good. They're buttery. They're like butter cookies. And they taste like the cookies that you get in the little blue tins, but they're not as crumbly, if that makes sense. These are good. Oh, my God. They're really crispy. Sorry. We're talking with my mouth. But those are good. Okay. <laughs> and then I found the Harry and David wafer rolls with the chocolate. So I'm going to put this on my coffee bar. So I had to get these because they're Harry and David. So I got two of those. Oh my God. Those cookies are good. <laughs> like I said, I'm so not a sweets person, but I like those. They'll kill that little craving you want for something sweet, definitely. Okay, so moving right along. I picked up this double frame here, this photo frame, again, for some DIYs for the upcoming holidays. So, yep, I got that. Oh, let me get this big stuff out of the way because I'll mess around and forget. 
So I got one of each of the Halloween colored pool noodles. <laughs> Orange, black, and purple. Again, for some DIYs. Um, and I probably should have got two of each color, but I didn't. Then at my Dollar Tree where I live, it's a family dollar Dollar Tree store in one. So they had these signs the wooden sign so again for halloween they both say welcome one has the pumpkin the other one has the jack o lan jack o lantern and one has a ship lap one is plain and these were five bucks y'all five dollars five see there five dollars <laughs> so these will be in the three five and ten section in those dollar trees um, again, my Dollar Tree is a, that's near me is a combo store, which is Family Dollar and Dollar Tree. It's mostly Family Dollar, but they have the Dollar Tree sections in it, if that makes sense. And then, of course, you have the Dollar Tree stores that have the 3, 5, and 10 sections. So, yeah, so I got one of each of those, and I thought about putting them together and doing a reverse sign one for thanksgiving fall and then the other for halloween we'll see how that works out if not you know oops no fall i'll figure it out i'll use them for something <laughs> okay so again another skull you know if you've been following me for a minute and y'all already know i love halloween i love myself a good skull <laughs> so all around my house i have them in little nooks and places it's just a little whimsical thing and some people are like eh, but we all have one it's a part of our form it keeps us together so to speak it protects one of our most precious organs so of course you know i had to get this now i'm not a fan of the iridescent look I mean, anything that has that iridescent quality, unless it's makeup. <laughs> I'm so not a fan. But I had an idea in mind for him. So, of course, I got him. And his jaw is hinged, which I like. I don't know if you can see that. But it's wired with the little tag. But, yeah, it's hinged. He was three bucks. So, I got him for a DIY. And it, I like the size of him, too. So, yeah. Then, in Dollar Tree, the regular Dollar Tree, they have the foam ones. They're just plain. So, I grabbed one. Not sure yet what I'm going to do with this one, but I grabbed one of those. Again, more of the color or the glitter um, glue sticks. Y'all have seen these before. Then, I actually came across these Westinghouse AAA batteries. There's one in a pack. I'm going to try these out in something. Um, they have them, they say that they're rechargeable and they're suitable for, you know, remotes and clocks and flashlights and things like that. And it says it holds a full charge. Um, at one year, it will still be at 85%. And then at two years, it'll be at 80. So you're supposed to hold your charge for a while. So it was only two left on the little clip strip that, that, that it was on. So I got two of them, and I'm going to see how they work. I'm going to look for them in other stores and see if I can find them, because they are $1.25 each. So I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> we'll see. Then I picked up this um, palette cleanser. It's a brush cleaner mitt. And I thought this was kind of cool to clean my makeup brushes. Um, because sometimes the bigger ones are kind of hard to deal with, but these you can slip on your hand and then push, you know, rub your brush on it. So I grabbed one of these to try it out and see how it works. And I'm sorry, y'all. That's what it looks like. Okay. Now, in the craft section, I came across these. Now, these are new. I saw these on the website. But I wasn't, it's hard to tell when you're looking online versus in the store. So they have these leather words for fall. They have the dark and the light. Um, and they're just called faux letters. So you get two of each um, word, blessed and thank 
blessed and grateful. One has grateful. The dark one has grateful and blessed. And then this one has blessed and thankful in it. So, two different colors, three different words. So, yep, I got it. Those, these are kind of cool because in Hobby Lobby, these things are like $4.99 because I actually have a Hobby Lobby haul coming up and um, I don't think they're leather. They're more the particle board or the laser cut ones. Um, but yeah, they're like $4.99 or $6.99. I can't remember, but you know, when they have them on sale for 40% off, it may help, but I don't know. That's better deal in Dollar Tree, I think. And then I got this bowl that I cracked. <laughs> in the trunk but I'm still going to try to use it for the DIY that I have in mind it was a dollar so I'm not too mad but it's a little purple plastic bowl because they're you know, a dollar they're kind of flimsy okay here we go then I got a couple of the purple trays they look like this the little plastic serving trays okay so I picked up one of each of these and I think these are absolutely amazing. I'm so like, I feel like I say this and I'm not knocking Dollar Tree by any means because I love Dollar Tree. But when you're DIYing with their stuff, it's always on a small scale unless you build things or whatever. So I like using their stuff for DIYs, but these are nice. Even though they're like little... Um, particle board signs that they have the recipes for for the pies so they have pumpkin they have pecan <laughs> as Paula Dean would say they have cherry which is that one and then they have of course apple so I thought these were adorable so I grabbed these for a DIY. I love these. And uh, for $1.25, this is kind of cool. So I do like those. But again, I got it for a DIY that I'm going to try to make into a larger scale DIY. Because again, when you're crafting with their stuff, it's always going to be small, it seems like. Okay, so let's get this stuff out of the bag here. That was in there with those. All right. So, I got a couple of headbands. I'm really into headbands. Um, so, I got your basic black. You can never have enough of these. And mine are getting a little pretty and raggedy. So, <laughs> I got one of those. And then I got this one with the bandana. So, yeah. A couple of headbands. And then I found the leather, faux leather um, tags. It's all the cord. This is the cord. Didn't say what they are. I saw these on the website as well. I wasn't sure what you know they would look like in person, but there they are. And uh, these are great around jars, candles, or whatever. I just got one, um, and these are the only two styles that I saw. You know, this is it: leaf and the, the pumpkin. I'm not sure if there are any more. Um, but yeah, I grabbed one of those and like I said, these would be great to put on wreaths, candles, jars, or whatever for fall. So I got one of those sets. Oh, where's my bag? Put those in there. I'm going to leave my headbands out. Okay. Then they've been getting all kinds of t-shirts in and they're rivaling, rival, rival, Hope that came out right, but <laughs> anyway, um, they're giving Joann's and Michael's a run for their money when it comes to t-shirts, like blanks and things for sublimating on and all that good stuff. So this is a cream colored t-shirt. I got it as big as I could find it because I want to alter it a little bit. This is a 2X large. They're getting in like regular people sizes usually they're always like smalls or maybe a medium or kid sizes <laughs> but they're getting in adult sizes as well um one of the particular stores that i went in they had just gotten them and they had all the sizes so i guess it's just where you are and how lucky you can get to get some 
So I have more t-shirts somewhere. I'm not sure because I have another whole bag of or stack of Dollar Tree stuff that's outside in my craft shed that I need to haul. But this is the haul that's in here right now that's actually... Oh my God, 40 minutes long. But anyway, like I said, if you have to pause and get a snack or a cocktail, do that. But I'm almost to the end. I think we're there. Okay, so again, at Dollar Tree, they have these faux cutting board signs. So one says, well, actually there were two. This one says, blessed beyond measure. And then I think the other one says, um, there's always something to be thankful for, I want to say, or welcome fall or something like that. But I just got these two because um, I'm going to change these around so it didn't matter what they said. <laughs> but I got two of those. And then I got another one of these. Now, last year I picked up one from the 3, 5, and 10 section that had the black background. And it had, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember. But where you'll see it, I'll post the link below to the video that I did um, with decorating for fall, like my fall trees. Um, and I used it there. But yeah, I got this one this year. And it was $5. And it has the chalkboard on the back. Um, as well as that one did too. But I love these. For 5 bucks. this is a good deal. Because Hobby Lobby's not going to have them that cheap. And it's hinged. Uh oh, I knew that was going to come apart. I'm going to take that back and get another one. Somehow I knew I grabbed one that was not kosher. And yeah, I had to take it back and get another one. But yeah, it has the harvest market. It's just a sign that you open up and it stands up like this. So, yeah, I'm going to take it back and get another one before they sell out. <laughs> but, yeah, that's why I keep my receipts because they're not going to, you're not going to get a refund by no means. But, yeah, because I don't think I can fix that. No, not with this little particle board, whatever. But I love these. And for five bucks, you can't beat that. So, and that was my fault because I remember dropping it out of the buggy. So, again, my mistake. I'm going to take it back. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's it, y'all. That is it for my Dollar Tree haul. So, hope you enjoyed this 42 minutes of hauling from Dollar Tree. I have another one coming. Let me make sure that's everything. Um, of some stuff that I picked up. I don't think there's any fall stuff in there. It's just Dollar Tree stuff. But anyway, again, please like, comment. Um, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you to my OGs that have been with me for a while or from the beginning. Love you guys. Um, more to come because, you know, we're getting into my season. So, yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yes, I'm so excited to all. Just can't wait. So, again, thank you so much for watching, and until my next video, I will see y'all then. Bye.